Hello, welcome to Biosphere 2 on Facebook. We're here live in Biosphere 2's rainforest. My name is Jason DeLue, I'm the manager of this rainforest. And a lot of people over the years have questions about how we manage this forest. Because we're in an enclosed space, we deal with a lot of different challenges than they do in the outside world. Out there, of course, they have to deal with weather. But in here, in a sense, we have to create our own. One of the things that we have to do is manage the temperature in here because we live in southern Arizona, a lot of sunshine. So as that sunlight comes through the glass, it can really heat things up in here. So we have to manage that with these, these machines in the basement that are called air handlers. These are about the size of a train box car and they can heat or cool the air using hot or cold water. So that's how we can control the atmospheric temperature in here because otherwise, like I say, it would get really hot inside. Another thing that we have to control in here is water regime. Biosphere 2 is large, but it's not large enough to create its own weather. So we have to, we have to supply weather, uh, excuse me, water through a series of rain, vi uh, rain pipes throughout Biosphere 2. So we have to provide water, usually three times a week, um, throughout the rainforest. Another challenge that we face in here you look around, you'll see a lot of plants. We've got about 90 species of plants, hundreds of different individual plants. But some of the plants that were introduced were vines, and these are very aggressive growers. They can overrun a lot of the plants that we have in here. So we have to actively manage the vines inside Biosphere 2, because otherwise they could overrun everything in here, and we'd only have vines inside Biosphere 2. We want to maintain somewhat of the biodiversity that we have in here already. Now, as you look at me, I'm standing here, there's no wind, it's completely calm inside Biosphere 2. Well, we do have difficulties creating lots of wind. In the outside world, wind is, the, the plants use wind to grow strong bark and stronger wood. Inside Biosphere 2, that kind of creates a challenge because these trees don't get the opportunity to create strong wood and strong bark, so they sometimes end up being a little weaker. The wood is sometimes a little less dense. So on occasion, we have to use ropes and tie up these plants so that the branches don't break off. So those are some of the challenges that we face as we try to control this the, uh, the conditions inside Biosphere 2. Managers in the outside world, they don't have to control, they don't have to worry about things like that, but they are subject to the conditions that are already out here. But the control that we have in here allows us to really manipulate the system so that we can, uh, we can conduct scientific research inside Biosphere 2. For those of you just joining, my name is Jason Ballou. I'm the manager of Biosphere 2's rainforest. And we're talking today about managing this rainforest. And we wanted to talk about some of the plants that we have inside Biosphere 2. This plant right here, got these kind of spirally configuration of leaves, is a costus. This, is, this, this plant belongs to a genus that some people, uh, some of the species in this genus are referred to as insulin plants. It's because they have a positive effect in reducing blood sugar in uh, individuals who, in, who take this plant. Um, I wouldn't recommend you doing that, but it's something that could be, uh, that, that some people do. Another plant that we have inside here, I've got a leaf right here. This is called a, a piper. This is a nice big aromatic plant. Um, a lot of Place, a lot of countries, Central and South America, use this plant to um, season some of their food. And it has a nice aroma. Some people have described it as root beer or Dr. Pepper. Um, but it smells quite nice, actually. Another plant that we have in here, in fact, one of our largest plants is called a Clitoria racemosa. That is um, a plant that is very adept at producing a substance known as isoprene. It's what's known as a volatile organic compound. It produces this compound to protect itself against high heat because it's our tallest plant in here. You can imagine up high where this plant is, it uh, can get really hot up there. So this plant produces a lot of it, but it's one of the ways that it copes with that intense heat that it uh, feels that it is sub sometimes subjected to inside Biosphere 2. Uh, another plant that we have inside, perhaps one plant that um, might be interesting, this is a leaf from it. We only have one specimen of this plant. It's just a, a small tree. And if you sm crush this leaf and smell it, you'll say, wow, it smells kind of like cloves. Another smell, you might say, it, maybe it's cinnamon. Um, when this plant was originally found, and it's from the West Indies, when it was found by British sailors, they couldn't quite pin down the smell, so they called it allspice. 
and it is the berries of this plant that is ground up to use the um, to, to make the spice that is we commonly use. But the leaves are sometimes used as well for cooking, and it has that nice smell. Lastly, this is the largest leaf in our rainforest. This is a banana leaf. This is actually kind of a smaller one. It's about 10 feet, that can get up about 10 feet long. We have several types of bananas in here. Some of them are, are not identified down to species, but we do frequently get bananas. We also have cooking bananas or plantains. And here's one of the bananas from our most recent uh, harvest. And uh, we're going to try it out today to see how it is. And uh, nice, nice sweet banana inside by inside um, from inside biosphere two. So, are there any questions from the uh, viewing audience um, that have come in? Don't appear to be any questions. Well, we'd like to thank you for tuning in, and would encourage you to come on down and visit us. We're here open. Um, 363 days a year and so come on down this next weekend we will be doing a rainforest tour where one of our researchers will be leading you through you can also visit see our online presence at our MOOC our mass o mass open online course where you'll see more about the science that is conducted in here and next week we'll be back for our third installment of rainforest month with one of our researchers Joost van Heren We'll talk about some of the research, the interesting and cool things that we've done inside this research, inside this rainforest, that has uh, given us better insight into rainforest ecology. So that's all for now. Thanks for joining us.